The guys from Terror Punk would say this was ridiculous. Hey guys, how's it going? And as you can see from the title, yeah, the video has to be pushed back again. And once more, I really can't get into why. All I could say is that outside forces beyond our control, along with some scheduling issues, have just made things a little difficult. Once again, I have to apologize since, again, you guys deserve better. And though, yes, I could easily just, just do the review alone, it'd be kind of a dick move since my collaborator is really trying to find the time to work on this. Plus, that also mean we'd have to ditch Sean's animatics that he made for the review, and I'm not Discovery. I'm not gonna throw away someone's hard work for nothing. Oh, I'm sorry. Tax write-off. Anyway, do expect reviews in October, with the original plan schedule not really changing, though having two extra editions. And then November, after Lore Olympus Volume 2 review, we should finally get our Rick and Morty D&D review. Anyway, since this is an update video, I should recommend some comics. But the first being, Just Society of America, The Next Age. Since a lot of these characters are gonna make their big theatrical debut in the Black Adam movie next month, I thought it'd be appropriate to spotlight one of the JSA comics. And Next Age really fits the bill. From the title, you can tell that this dives into the JSA, bringing in some new members of their group, most of them being the children, or grandchildren, of the original generation. This story was the introduction to characters like Cyclone, granddaughter of the original Red Tornado, Abigail Huckle, and Tom, son of Wildcat. The story is tons of fun. We get some good character introductions, a pretty fun mystery, though I will admit that who the big bad turns out to be is pretty obvious, but not to the point where it ruins the story for me. And the art by Dale Eagleman is pretty damn awesome, especially in the action. This comic is a pretty solid start for anyone who is interested in getting into the JSA after watching Black Adam or watching the CW Stargirl series. Plus, Jeff John's on JSA, and when it comes to him in DC in the early 2000s, he nailed it all the time. Well, almost nailed it all the time. As for the next comic, well, since we are reaching October, I should talk about something a little bit gruesome. So I'm gonna recommend the comic Ultra Mega. Now, to be clear, I'm not a big Ultraman fan. I got a lot of friends who are, but for myself, I just never got into it. But one day, two buddies of mine came up to me and told me to go read this book. Said that even if I didn't like Ultraman, I was gonna enjoy this comic. And damn it, they were right. This comic is just insane. If you are a fan of Attack on Titan or Pacific Rim or any story where someone takes on a kaiju, this is the comic for you. With insane over-the-top action and the artwork, my god. The artwork is so great and the colors are just vibrant. Really help giving this weird otherworldly feel to it, especially when we get really grotesque. I will say if you have a weak stomach, this isn't the comic for you. But if you don't, get your rocket-powered fists ready and see glorious monster slaying action. Anyway, thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe, and once again, I have to apologize for the delay again. Seriously, I'm starting to know how Spirit Man feels. Fuck you. Later.